All right, everybody. Group C, but one of our sickest groups so far. Flash was able to make it to the winner's match, but he fell down to the finals match. And Sky High, somehow, someway, able to 2-1 Classic, took his nerves away from a man, messed him up real bad. And now we're going to have a TBT in the final match to decide which one of these Terrans is moving on to the round of eight. And what a match it's going to be. Oh, man, I, I, I didn't know what to expect because just looking at the qualifiers for this, we saw Sky High take down Maru in a TBT. So, you know what? I think Sky High comes into this with, like, a little bit of a chance. You know, I wouldn't normally expect this, but Sky High... Coming off a win like that, he's got the momentum behind him now. He's already created one upset. And Flash is coming off a pretty brutal loss from Sulky. We'll have to wait and see what Sky High can do. I want to point out that uh, with a Terran advancing here, this is going to be one of the highest percentages of Terran we've ever had in a Korean tournament this year. Oh, if yeah. not the highest in a round of eight that we've ever had this year, I'm pretty sure it is for a Korean tournament. So. Yeah, this is very exciting for Terrence, man. Terrence everywhere should be enjoying this. And with Solki's advancement earlier, we're still going to have a Zerg too, so race distribution looking pretty good going into the round of eight. At least one Zerg sounds about right these days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, these two are starting things off already on King Sejong Station. Mech play is strong here, but Bio is not bad. Definitely have to see how they want to play this one out. Yep, I'm feeling like we're going to see mech from Flash no matter what here. Flash, Flash loves his mech if he gets a chance to do it. And yeah, this map definitely uh, definitely viable on more than most. Alrighty, guys. The map is already loaded. This is the final match for Group C. 2014 si Hot Six Cup. Sky High versus Flash. Top left in the blue for KT. Oh, no, for CJ, excuse me. <laughs> is... CJ and Toos, Sky High. Our first mirror matchup today. First mirror match. It's a blessing, and what a mirror match it is. A great one. My favorite. To the bottom right in red. Yeah. KT Roaster Flash. The fan favorite. The fan voted. Yes. Number one. I think the only uh, was parting uh, will be playing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Korea represent. Oh wow, they're getting real about this Korea. They even speaking Korean on the sign. Wow. Studying Korea. Studying Korean in Korea. <laughs> Ooh, gas first All for right. both players. Ooh. All right, so we're gonna see a lot of aggression early on here. Oh man, it's been so long since I've watched a good TVT. I'm like, oh yeah, this build. I know this build. Matchups fun, um, but I think that you know with Heart of the Swarm coming or not Heart of the Swarm with the Legacy of the Void coming up, TBT could be cha a changed matchup as well. Oh, uh, I think everything's just changing. And if the Cyclone doesn't get changed, man, I think we might be seeing a lot more TBT. <laughs> We're just gonna see Cyclone wars with, in TBT. <laughs> uh, that would be amazing. You can see the last time these two fought each other was in 2012. Wow, that's a long time. That was when both of them had just first switched into StarCraft 2. Yeah. That was that was the Code A qualifiers, by the way. It wasn't even televised. Oh, wow. Was that like during the hybrid period? Yeah, that was probably the first, uh, I think it said Season 1, so that was probably the first uh, GSL where Castle players could qualify, and then also the, where the OSL was in the dual, dual format, so uh. around then. For those of you guys not familiar, the first uh, StarCraft 2 OSL or OS2L or whatever you want to call it, um, had Caspa players uh, seated into a different part of the bracket originally so that they wouldn't have to play against the players who are more experienced. Yeah, uh, which was a bit right. of a controversial topic, um, but it ended up being uh, Rain who actually beat Dong Gu in the Grand Finals. Oh, that is right, yeah. A long time ago. Yeah. Not so far away from here, though. Same galaxy and whatnot. All right, so we have a variation being that the Reaper comes out for Flash, and Sky High is going to skip that, favoring holding on to 50 extra gas. Mm, I kind of like Flash's decision making here. He's going to get a great scout off. He's also going to deny, oh, he probably went to actually deny this SCV scout, but he will get a great scout of Sky High's base. It's really just about that extra gas for the Banshees. Yeah. But I mean, from here, Flash would be like, oh, okay. Essentially, they know exactly what each other are doing because that SCV actually got in. And Flash could have done the same and saved 50 gas, so. Maybe Sky High is ahead, actually, just well, on that decision. But I don't think, actually, Sky High did get to see the two refineries. He only got to see one. Oh, he yeah. actually didn't get to see any. And Flash keep, is going to see one. And keep in mind, uh, Sky is actually making a Hellion in the Widow Mine, so he's not even playing Banshees. So that extra gas that he gets is more about him just not having a second refinery. 
He has a lot more Marines too, which are going to give him a little bit more. Ooh, uh, committing to this here. You got to see pretty much everything except the gases. Yeah, no tech labs, so that lets him no banshee, no no banshees, and it's yeah. definitely going to be a drop. Just a drop. Ooh, and Flash is going to be the one going for the banshees here. Yeah, for clear. sure. With that, with the build he's chosen, with the double gas. But I wonder how much damage Sky High can get done. He might actually just sit back and play defensively, knowing what his opponent is up to. Whereas, kind uh, of looks like it. He, I think he's actually going to go for a drop there. He's going to go for like the Marine Mind drop. A bit delayed. Maybe wait till the Banshee moves out or the Hellions move out. He's just going to do uh, one Mine and six Marines. He's going to do a lot of work here, especially considering there's only Hellions. There's no Raven. There's no Raven. Banshee actually will be out in time though, so as long as he isn't going to cross the map with it, he can defend pretty well with this. At the same time, we have Hellions going by ground. They could uh, very well do a run by as well. Yeah. All right, here comes that medevac. Hellions in position. Oh, he's got five Hellions oh, in here. I don't yeah. think this is going to get they much They can one-shot anything that comes out of that medevac. Yeah. Widowmine not going to take, uh, going to be able to take any shots, I don't think. Not a chance. Banshee? Here comes that Banshee. Well on its way. <laughs> he's just following it. He's set them to move command on it. He wants to get that CC down, and he's about to be able to do so. He's got enough money. Yeah. All right, there's a Viking out. Second one popping out in a second. Oh, this could be good, actually. The shots here are really nice. Oh, I love this, these Marine drops here. And now he's in a very, very big lead here. Micro is insanely good here for Sky Eye. And actually, Flash was hesitating on his Banshee. He was sitting there for a second. Wants to be able to deny the CC. Cloaks immediately. How many Marines? What do we have back at Sky High's base is the next question here. He's got two Vikings, I think. Maybe he's only got one. Maybe he canceled one. Okay, no, he's got two. Misses the first scan, though. He's going to have to scan again. And we should see that in about nine se in-game seconds time. No turrets. He's just going to let the SCVs... Ooh, kind of auto-attacking Hellions. That's also a bit of a waste. Yeah, Sky could be very happy with that. But a second Banshee is coming in there, and he might not actually have enough for another scan. All right. He's going to boost away. Flash being very, very defensive here. And yeah, he should be absolutely fine if he just starts... Oh, but he used all his cloak on defense. Yep. Ah, oh, that's a shame. There could have been so much more damage being done. So much more. Flash taking that step to the extra factory now. Both players getting a Raven out for safety. Much faster second CC for Sky High, who's just a few harvesters behind. 25 to 29 here. And it's a fairly even game. I like Sky's position and flexibility with that drop, plus the fact that he has two CCs. But Flash has a good uh, unit comp he's building right now. He's going up to that mech army. So I, th I think that it's a pretty even game. So far, so good, yeah. Just a little bit of damage. Oh, this could do more damage. The third Banshee comes yeah, in. Yeah, this could do very well, actually. If he clicks it. There should be a Raven out. Yeah, there's a Raven out, so he should be able to deal with this. Mm, if there's anything... Oh, there's no yeah, units. He needs to use an auto turret. Yeah, and he can kind of... He can kind of just avoid it, actually, because there is such good range. The there's Banshee. the Marines. Yeah, does the trick. Yeah. All right, three SDVs go down. Four Sky Eye. That engagement. Hellion, Tank... Viking and or medevac production will be started. Most likely the Vikings, but you know, sometimes people like to have the medevacs for their hellbats early. Mm. Well, it's very, very important to, to maintain air control, especially when you're like, it's tank versus tank more than anything else. Is he actually, okay, so he's still making a tank. I noticed he got the Infernal Pre-Igniter upgrade, but he's still making tanks too. So just two Hellions at a time, not the three, three Hellions. He's got a ton of Hellions already on the map. And here comes a big timing attack from Sky High. Let's see how much damage he can get done with it. The Vikings can land and do a ton of extra damage. Plus, that Siege Tank he's got here is pretty strong. Yeah, but one Siege Tank will be out for Flash. And uh, I don't know if we have an Armory yet. Uh, an Armory yet? I don't think we do. Is there no Hellbats just yet? Which is uh, going to be a bit of a problem here. Uh, but the Viking count going to be so important in this because there is going to be a Tanks from the bottom. Yep. And that auto turret, he needs to actually do something about that. Oh, this is kind of gross. I don't think he's got an auto turret of his own. No. It doesn't look like. Sky High wants to commit just yet. Instead, getting rid of a barracks. Uh, getting rid of a barracks this early could actually be very, very good. Oh, that's, that's a great point, man. There's only two factories out so far. Oh, no, he's not paying attention. That siege tank sieges up, and he's going to mm. lose the Viking fight as well. Oh, is he? Keeps it alive for now. How low is that Rax is the other thing I want to do. I, I really want to see that go down. Yeah, I think it's got to be burning down. I don't think he can save it. It's got to be. It's got to be. Okay, yeah, it went down. Okay. I just saw it disappear off the mini map. 
So he's going to have to replace that for more factories later. And I like this a lot. I didn't expect him to be able to supply his position here. Auto turret's doing a lot. Yeah, this is actually, Sky High's actually a pretty good pretty good lead here, actually. He's down on tanks, which is annoying, but you know he's got an a, a annoying position, an aggressive position that's not well, going to be I dealt think with it's easily. Like, it's always going to naturally... Oh, look at this, he's going to drop on top of the yeah. tanks and get rid of them. And the auto turret comes down as well, and he's in tank range of the other tank. A huge mistake here by Flash to put that tank in that spot. Wow. And now Sky is moving forward, taking out some of those Vikings. Meanwhile, there's plenty of defense at home for these Blue Flame Hellions. Sky High doing so much damage here, also getting rid of 12 SEVs. Taking an 11 Harvester lead right now. Ooh, man. And these Hellions have done nothing for Flash. The one redeeming thing that's going on right now is Flash is getting a third base at the third. Once yeah. that's up, he will be able to catch up again, but he's down 12 SCVs right now. Yeah, and keep in mind, uh, even though he's getting that at the third, I believe Sky High's Commander is going to finish faster, so he's going to have those extra mules and extra SCVs faster anyways. Okay, it's about the same time. Oh, this Banshee could actually deny this. Oh, that would be huge, and he gets it. Oh, that is he should be able to pain. save it, but you know, it's just every second lost on this CC is so annoying. Yeah, completely. And yeah, Flash needed so badly to catch up after so much econ damage. And Sky High is sitting in a really good position here. With Mech, that. you know, you need three bases up, ASAP, you need a solid economy to make those cost-efficient units. Ooh. If that gets disrupted, you're in a lot of trouble against a bio force, especially in the mid-game. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm liking where Flash is... Uh, Hellions are. And once he sees this army, he's going to move in with them. Yep, you're exactly right. Checks third base first. And this could do a lot of damage, Moonglade. Let's find out. Two Marauders here for the defense. You might oh. want to drop that Commander, try to make a wall or something. Might want to get rid of these SCVs. Oh, this is going to be so much damage here. SCVs need to split into so many different directions to escape. He pulls his whole army back, and it's revenge time. SCVs for SCVs here, says Flash. Now getting into the main base. And he's turning this game right back around. Oh, so many more SCVs no. should go down here. Oh, so much damage. That's 26 SCVs down already. And there's going to be a lot more than that. 34. Oh, this is absolutely horrible. Sky High had such a good lead. He had so much decent momentum going into this. And that next attack was going to do a lot of work here. Gets rid of every Hellion. Except one. Except one. 35 SCVs there. The supply uh, count is not even that different. How crazy is that? Well, it's because he lost all those Hellions to do it. So this gives Sky High an opportunity to maybe counterattack with his army that he's got. His army is much stronger. So much stronger. But he's going to be attacking into a, a building mech army. I feel like it needs to go now. And this may be, you know, if he doesn't react quickly enough to this opportunity, this may be what costs him the game. Because he's definitely never going to catch up in Harvesters. No, he will not. He needs to go and attack now. He's got this Banshee. That could even give him a little bit of extra help. Well, not if it goes down here. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's only four tanks and a, a very, very small amount of Hellions with this as well. The Bioforce only has plus one. He's only got ten Marauders really with this army. A few more Marauders popped out, but they're they're not here yet. They're not with the army, so they don't count. Flash has the Defender's Advantage. He has this Debris. Perfect timing with the Sense of Tower as well. Yeah. He sees it coming just in time, and he's I, like, okay, I can set up. I think he should have maybe gone earlier and maybe gone from the other side. Now he's just sit out there like a sitting duck. Even with a big drop like this, he's asking for trouble. He knows how many Vikings are in the sky, and they're waiting for him right there. Ooh. Cannot do that. He knows it. Yeah, he better scan. It's a turret, he too. It's like he's kinda oh, just he's just going to bring everything. Mm, this could get very, very ugly. This could work. I don't know. Good siege tank position here. Flash knows. As soon as he sees those siege tanks, he knows what's coming. He's got to get everything into the main base. He's got to get it in there now. Oh, wow. He's actually going in, taking so much damage from the Vikings. Oh, he came in at a weird angle. The Vikings doing a lot of damage here. Flash with the siege up. He's completely set up here to defend this. And he's going to clean this up. He's going to wipe it out. He still has a much better economy at 52 to 37 harvesters. Big attack coming in over here, but a few units coming down to the vent. Siege tanks will get picked off. That's pretty expensive. And Hellbat struggle to chase. One by one, they fall. Yeah, not a bad trade at all. Four sky high down there, but yeah, he is severely behind in economy. Trying to even it up. Maybe he could save these siege tanks. There's one more harder trying to get involved. <laughs> this is kind of sad. Down he goes. And from here, where does Sky High go from this? Well, I don't know, man. Two Hellbats are headed towards his third base. There's not much defense there. He's got a healthy siege tank count with a small bio force, but Flash has got enough siege tanks now where he can split them all into three different bases and be totally fine. He's got a center tower. He's got turrets being remade. 
I love that he's not scared to just remake those turrets. Sky is, ca is catching up in uh, Harvesters because Flash doesn't want to make too many more of those, but he's going to lose a lot of them right here. Oh, yeah. Two go down. And a mule. Yeah. Well, two mules, actually, which is quite a lot of minerals. That's pretty expensive. Situation. And yeah. plus, he could he could have actually maybe chased more there, but he's just playing it safe with those Hellbats. Okay, Skyhead with a big attack now to the third base. If he can actually force us to lift and get a bunch of SCV kills, or maybe even cancel this base, like like kill it. Well, if he had SCV, uh, sorry, if he had Marines with this, like a lot more Marines, he could maybe focus this down. But he had, he's like 90% Marauders in this composition. Ten more kills on SCVs during all that, by the way. A few siege tanks get Ooh, picked off. This is pretty good. Which is where those Marauders come into play here. Marines. Oh, they could actually it. kill this. I think they will actually. It very, goes very down. Nicely done. Snipes it. But a lot of uh, a lot of damage being done back at home to the worker count yet again. This is kind of been the story of this game. Flash takes big hits but kills a lot of workers. Yeah. And he saves all of his harvesters. But, I mean, for this him. is a very very crippling blow to a mech. Getting rid of the third place completely. And the gas. Tanks? Yeah, you need gas. You need six gas with this mech. So this is kind of gross here. Uh, trying Flash, to find a way. Flash has the map, uh, sorry, the, the air control, which is going to make up for a lot. We're going to have to see scans go down from Sky High, or he will lose through tank range like we're seeing now. Yeah, it's happening. He's not doing it. He's already down on tanks out here. It's 10 to 3 tanks right now. There are 20 Marauders, so if he sees a big unsiege, a big move out from Flash, he can capitalize on that with his Marauders. Ooh, this is nice. But still not enough here. Yeah, if we see an Unsiege, I could definitely see a stim in here. And with all those Vikings and all the medevacs that Sky High lost, like, Flash has so many Vikings. Sky has very few medevacs. He can't just boost in with his Marauders on top of the tanks. He just can't do that. Yeah. He's going to try to go for another drop here. Uh, is he going to get that SCB? That would be incredible, but I don't think so. That'd be so funny. Uh, dealing with, yeah, I mean, a great way in. To the main here, simply nothing to defend. He's going to lose a bunch of SCVs. Yep, more mining time. Oh, get rid of the armory, please. That would be so sick. Looks like he wants to go for Harvesters instead, which actually puts him ahead in Harvesters. So I said he was never going to catch up on workers this game, but... Well, hey, he just got rid of every single Harvester in the main. Yeah. 16 go down from this, and he's going for a turret, I believe. So you know what? Sky High is still kind of in control of this. He's up 30 supply already. And he's still got three mining bases. That if you look at the minimap, it looks like Flash does too, but a base is still rebuilding. It's in shambles right now. Shambles, I tell ya. <laughs> and here we go again. Hellbat defense is getting a lot better here too. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to go into that. That would be gross. Yeah, he, he luckily he scans. He could have lost a lot. If he got a good angle on the back of that CC, that would have been another thing entirely, but I just don't think he can. Flash, meanwhile, has been going to these Banshees because he knows he has total air control and he knows his opponent's army comp seems like it's like almost pure Marauder. Yeah. So he wants to use those Banshees no, to his advantage. Very, very intelligent here. And we see, finally, two starports being added for Sky High, and he needs to start taking air control here. He needs to either transition to BCs in his late-late game, but I don't think he really needs to at this point. He just needs a lot of Vikings, so he can get rid of Flash's Vikings, take the air control, so he can do drops. He wants to kill these starports. Ooh. He's going to come in here and try to snipe those. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. And if these Vikings get too close, they might actually uh, bite the dust as well. Okay, decides to just go willy-nilly in there, man. He's just going to fight whatever he can find. Yeah, right, da right click down that CC. Why not? Get rid of the armory. Get rid of the stop. He's What's... killing a ton of army units here, and he's get getting ready to attack the natural as well. He's just starting to get this overwhelming army because he has such a great economy. Going to get that armory, like you said. Oh, actually decides not to get it. Get decides to want to trade down some siege tanks. Oh, he's trying to attack from different angles, but Flash still has stuff in the in the uh, natural as well. Oh, is it going to burn down that armory? It looks Ooh. like it. Yeah, it looks like it. Nice. It's already got plus two, but I mean, you know, just small things. 14 SCVs went down as well. Two Ravens and Cloak coming up here. Delayed Cloak for Sky High. Flash finally has that third base economy back up, but his worker count is terrible. 34. Think how the tables have turned. Oh, nice. <laughs> One shot. Get out. Just to annoy him. Nice skirmish. That sensor tower has done so much for Flash this game. It's keeping him in the know about all these little attacks. Yeah, I, I don't think you can actually play mech against a normal bio style without a sensor tower or two. I'm with you on that. Let's scan here. Wants to see if he's got opportunity. Flash is going to have to just turtle. He's going to build the better composition, but it's going to take time. Sky High wants to get these Ravens out to build that energy and get Vikings to take air control. And in fact, we'll probably see a fusion core eventually if he really wants to go all the way down that road. We see this a lot of the time because mech beats bio, it's the better comp, 200 supply versus 200 supply. However, you have to transition. If 
the bio player could keep the mech player turtled enough, keep him on the back foot, can hide starports, take air control, and then go into BCs. And the BCs wreck mech if they don't have air control. Yeah, it's all about the air control. It's all about bio taking that air control once they have the economic lead. I'm pretty surprised we don't see a fourth base from Sky High just yet because that would also kind of make a lot of sense. Yeah. We see one going down now, actually. Which he's, just, he's got total control of the map, so I'm, I'm totally with you. Like, why not, why not get that earlier? Flash isn't moving out to attack that anytime soon. And here we go. He's trying to hide. He's trying to hide the the air that Sky High is making. He wants to kind of make that a surprise. So Flash isn't making more Vikings. And we see still see uh, a lot of Banshees being made for Flash as well. Yeah, Flash. He just keeps making Banshees because I think he's, I think he's confident that he's got air control because he hasn't scanned. He hasn't seen his opponent's transition yet. So he keeps thinking, ah, oh, if I just keep making these Banshees, I'm going to be in the right spot. But he's losing air control very quickly. How many Banshees does he have? He's got like about to have six. It's a it lot of looks Banshees. Looks like it, yeah. He could do a lot of damage to, to any army that has no anti-air. Oh yeah, but don't uh, don't underestimate that power. Sky High knows exactly what's up there. The one advantage Flash does have, he's got plus two air weapons already. Yeah. It's gonna help out a lot when it finally comes down to it. But he's getting that early armor too now. Twenty siege tanks out on the map for Flash. Yeah. Not a single upgrade for the air army of Sky High, nor the ground army. I think uh, one is on the way. One attack is on the way for the air army. Those are you guys who may have missed StarCraft for a while. Those are now combined in Heart of the Swarm, so you don't have to uh, research them all separately. Lots of scans all over the place for these two. Yep. That's exactly what's up here. He's got Banshees in this mix too, and he knows he has... It looks like he does know he has the Viking advantage here. He has the Viking advantage barely, but what's... Well, it's up by five, but what's the crazier thing is he's got these ravens, and oh. these ravens are going to be able to shut down anything that comes his well, way. Well, like the Banshees are simply just going to get rid of the tank count, which is essentially means Flash is in so much trouble, he, he's completely screwed. This third screwed. base is, is, yeah, it's screwed, he's the just running in. is gone, and these ravens are completely zoning out the Vikings here. There's no way he can attack this. He's going to make a move now, but he's already lost so many tanks, he's lost the third base. Yeah, he's going to lose that base. Goodbye, CC. And goodbye, Flash. He's down 80 supply now. He's going to lose his second armor even before that plating can finish. And Sky High has just outmaneuvered him, outthought him here in this game. Outcompositioned him. Outcomped him. He just knew exactly how to fight against Flash's mech, almost as if he expected he'd have to play Flash, and he's prepared Ooh. specifically for this. He's even going to stim in. I don't know if he can do this, but he can try, that's well, for sure. Well, he could probably start picking off siege tanks right now. Getting rid of any sort of uh, refinery is perfect, actually. So. Yeah. Why not move back? You're up. He's 75 maxed, supply. and there's that fusion core. Mm. I'm actually surprised he's not trying to be a bit more aggressive with his banshees. Pick off some go. siege tanks. Look, he's he's actually like, you know what? Okay, I can pretty much be defensive from here. I am in such a lead. It's going to be a miracle for Flash to get back. It's ab absolutely up to Flash to make a move. Great scan here. One Thor is going to create a little bit of a problem. I would like to see Sky High get his. Uh, his uh, upgrades, his, his upgrades for his mech. You know, his his vehicle weapons and his his tank weapons. Yeah. Because he's that's one thing he's really missing. Okay, he's now getting that finally. Because he killed Flash's armory, so he knows he's going to be ahead forever, basically, as long as he keeps doing that. 18 Vikings to nine, complete lead for Sky High in the air department. In every department, in the worker department, his army is is better, bigger, stronger. And now he's going to just get into the main base. He's going to control this location. Flash can't go home. He can't base trade. This game is over. I think Flash is just kind of in disbelief. He's picking up here, trying to think about this game before he leaves it. Because I think he knows this game is very much over. Yeah, you can't really do much from here. Uh, it looks like he's going to go for a counterattack by the looks of things. But uh, you do not want to be base trading with a bio like this, especially when the bio can turn around and just kill you at any time. And the bio has air control, so you can't just fly away. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure we're just going to see the Viking Banshee Raven move back and just kind of clean up everything. Yep. This all, that's all that's really left is Siege Tanks and only nine Vikings on the map. Rallied out Vikings from Sky High. He could pretty much defend at this point. Plus the Marines he could rally out. He's going to have plus three for his bio in a, in a very short period of time. Could even make a BC or two. Here we that, go. If that's what he likes. Yep. And not a chance, Flash. You are no out of this way. game. GG. Sky High. Uh-oh. Creating waves here. Sky High could knock out the fan favorite. Well, hey, what? You know what? He did beat Maru in the qualifier, and now we know why. He's actually damn good at this matchup.
He's got that momentum behind him after taking down Classic. You know what's interesting is Marine King was also in the same bracket and was able to beat uh, Maru as well, man. You beat Maru, man, it seems like a bit of a good luck it's, charm. It's the Terran blessing, man. Yeah. Absolutely crazy here. Flash. Hey, one game away from getting eliminated here. It would be crazy to not have Flash advance. Oh, I would lose my mind. I think but a lot of nerds on the internet would too, man. I'd be kind of excited for Sky High at the same time, you know. This is, this guy's got to be on like a high right now. He just beat the fan favorite. The guy who took a landslide victory in the fan vote. Yeah. And he's about to beat him to get out of this tournament. He's one win away. Yeah. He's got to be feeling insanely good right now. He's got to be shaking in the booth. Luckily for Flash, he does not feel nerves. He does not feel negative pressure. He just does his thing. He just feels insulted that you dare take a game you from a guard. You dare try to trick me and go into Banshees. I was doing that first. <laughs> Overgrowth, second map here. Flash has to win this. He absolutely must. Any more losses for Flash results in him dropping out of this tournament. Sky High making way is surprising a lot of people playing very unique styles. Showing a great Terran versus Terran. A matchup that normally isn't too useful in Korea, but in this tournament, it's Terrans, Terrans, and more Terrans advancing to the round of eight. All right, guys, this is Flash's last chance here on Overgrowth. To the bottom left, a dark horse may advance from CJ and to see is. CJ and to sky high. A loyal veteran from StarCraft 1. I think he's been on CJ for something like six to eight years. Wow. Another Brood War veteran. The fan favorite. The ultimate weapon. Yeah. KT Roaster Flash. Setting those hotkeys. Getting his keyboard adjusted. He's famous for that. Now, this is another map you can mech on. Yes. You can cut this map in half That's pretty efficiently with mech. Once you've got that gold set up, you've, uh, you've essentially cut it in half. And you've you, you got a defense from every uh, high ground, every ramp you can defend. We've seen this a lot of times in the past against Zerg and against Terran. Will Flash go for mech again? Didn't work for him last game, though. And Sky High seemed very, very prepared and very, very capable of this matchup. Are they both gone gas first here? Which means we're going to see quick starports again. Not sure how they're going to utilize those. Last time Flash went for Banshees, which went okay for him. It did a bit of damage, but yeah, not as much as we thought it would. Sky High did a lot more. And then, then when Sky High lost so many SCVs to those Hellions, he was still able to recover from just constant harassment and great positioning. Mm. He really had Flash's number in positioning every time. He was always able to outposition him and outthink him at that third base. He had the pressure there. He was able to even siege up under three turrets, get into the main base and do damage. He always found a way in. And I think that's what threw Flash off a little bit, because Flash was like, all right, well, I made more turrets than anybody makes. There's no way he's going to get in here, right? Yeah, well, I mean, that's the... It's it's kind of like exactly what you have to do is bio against mech. you got to find a way, and you got to find damage and get ahead with eco, and then make a good transition into something that's going to give you a composition advantage. And this game, we're going to see Flash go over the STV scout. He's going to see everything he needs to see. He knows exactly what it is. He's even going to harass... <laughs> Second supply depot. You can because, you know, when you go gas first, your Marines are late. Ooh, don't want to lose it. And a Reaper here for Flash again. He did the last game and then went into double gas. Yeah. So we're going to see an identical opening here for Flash. But this time Sky High gets his second gas early as well. So you might actually have Banshee versus Banshee. And oftentimes when you have two players going towards Banshee, but one gets the Reaper, the Reaper scouts the Banshee, and then that player decides to get a Raven. So in this case, Flash may decide to just get a Raven with his extra gas instead of getting the Banshee so that he has that defender's advantage. Yeah. Let's could. wait and see. Let's wait and see. A lot of, lot of ideas. Flash is thinking, no doubt about that. Uh, going for that tech lab there, so yeah. Yeah. either a Raven or a Banshee here. That's what that, that 50 gas you invest into the uh, that early Reaper gives you, is the ability to choose based off of scouting information. Sky High is not going to know. He's going to be in the dark. He was pretty comfortable that way, last game there. Yeah. Reaper sliding across the map with the Hellion, actually. It gives him a little bit more aggressive potential to even maybe get into the main uh, with both of those units. He can harass with the Hellion at the front, draw those Marines out, then just jump in with the Reaper. Looks like the Reaper is going to come in first. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. He's going to go for, it looks like he's going to try and go for a scout through the bottom here. And a Viking for Flash first Ooh, for safety. Viking versus Raven, so no Banshees whatsoever. Bansheeless here. That's so funny. Now, Reactor's coming down for both players. Flash actually getting his first. Flash with the exact timing for when a Banshee would pop out. He's going to scout. He's trying to scout exactly what's going to come out of the starport. He knows that the, I believe the build time for the Raven's a bit longer, so I think he knows now. He's like, okay, probably a Raven. That's how exact it was. I like that a lot. That was really smart. Huh? Flash with all the information he needs. He, he wants to play a very careful game this game. Yeah. It looks like he will go into that mech style, at least for now. It seems that way. CC for Flash on the low ground, kind of like last game. He's pretty comfortable to do that. And this game is, is really just quite even. Uh, both players have, are going down different paths, but basically to the same end. There's different advantages here and there, the CC being riskier on the low ground, the CC being faster on the high ground for Sky High. The Raven coming out first for Sky means he has more energy, but Flash had the Viking out earlier for extra safety, but they're both going to have the same total amount of units at the end of the day. Yeah. Especially with that Reaper being dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. I really like that out of Widowmine, too. I mean, when the Hellions finally move out on the map, it'll just be another thing to kind of zone them out. And, yep. Looks like it is going to be the same exact style from Flash here. He thinks that mech can work, and it is a good map for mech, so I can't blame him. But Sky High seems very, very capable. Yeah, his bio is quite strong. Right now we see that second orbital being morphed. Flash can already start saturating his natural, though, so he's going to have better saturation. You can see he's already got 16 in the main, which is as optimal as it gets You know, before you start losing efficiency with each additional harvester. So he's going to get... Uh, his income up pretty quick here. Ooh, and another CC as well. Greedy. Kind of a, kind of necessary. I, I, it's very, very good decision making from Sky High. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it, it's good for the bio. It's, it's you know, when you have bio, you usually have map control. You're keeping the pressure on your opponent constantly. This yeah. is the first scout for Sky High, by the way, the whole game. Well, I mean, Flash, I guess, is kind of predictable in, in some of his ways. One being that he loves macros. Two being that he loves Mac. So yeah. why not? That scan uh, is great because he sees the pre-igniter upgrade, and that's exactly what he's expecting. He's like, okay, so you got a lot of, of your tech money going into that. His medivacs are just going to oh, miss each other. Oh, they're actually going to get... Is, is, it, is the Hellions going to see them? Yeah. That's the next question. Yep, Hellions oh, sees yeah. it. Just. Let's see what the reaction is from Flash it's at this double point. Double medivac, though. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be behind the mineral patch. Sky High loves his delayed drops. Ooh. Looks like he's going to have to scan if he wants to get any sort of damage done as well. He has to stay on the edge, out of the Viking range, but keeping his tanks in, in the net. Looks like Flash will go down to the third base with his second CC. Resume mining, but quite some, some early damage here, economic damage from Sky High. That's awkward. That puts him out onto the third base location early on against the player who's going bio. Yeah, that's a, it's really like bad for positioning, 100%. Like This is something you just do not want to happen, but you know, he was just a little too late. Okay, he's. Uh, I think for a second he was considering going and killing these units actually with his Hellions. Oh god, he misses the trip too. Those Helli those uh, SMEs are not re rallied. He needs to re rally those. Siege, uh, Seeker Missile. Nice. That's one thing you can do. Well, I mean, he can kill them now, but to what end? Like, it's already done the damage essentially. It's made him move. He could lift up and get out. He just loses a, a Siege Tank, which I think is the best trade of all. Two Siege Tanks for. A lifted CC, a ton of lost mining time, and a few SCV kills of its own. Yeah. Totally worth it. Uh, very, very big mistake letting those SCVs go all the way into the main and back to the third. That's yeah. a, a lot of mining time missed as well, simply because of Flash's mistake. And now Sky Hay has his own third CC going to land itself, whereas Flash is only now building his second CC. He's got a lot of pre-igniter Hellions, though, moving across the map. Great well. air control for Sky High as well. Flash already on the back foot in a lot of ways. He's just made a few mistakes. Sky High is really, I feel like he's really riding this success that he's had so far in this group. Oh god, that Widowmine oh. from earlier even weakens this push! Big hit here. I don't know if he can actually force a cancel on this. No, it's already done, so he certainly cannot. No, there's no, there's no <laughs> it's way. It's already landed and done. Not a chance whatsoever here. Oh, he doesn't want to fight those tanks with his Hellions either. Two more factories going up for Sky High, by the Ooh. way. He's actually not going to go bio. Okay, he's going to switch into this. I like this too. He's completely mind gaming as well. I mean, Flash is going to be completely prepared for a bio suit of army here. He's seen the Marines, he's seen the Medivacs and tanks. We'll not be expecting this uh, 
is Mech. He's also going to do double armory, so he's going to really commit, and he's going to have a lot of upgrades really early on. His, yeah, his air units as well as ground are just going to be insane. He's so confident in his econ lead. Look what he's doing. Two armories, and he's going up to five factories this early on. Five factories at 1230 with six gases. He already got those gases up early. He's very confident right now. He's showing that so, so much in this. And... He's up in Harvesters as well. Oh, hold on here. Flash is about to find out exactly what's going on here. This is so important. More than any SCB damage he gets done is knowing that he's playing against Mech. Or well, will he? Oh, I guess he'll, at the very least he'll see two armories. Will he commit will positive? He? No. Actually, two turrets. But okay. He scans. he scans, and that is critical. That is so important. Now he knows what's up. Same time there. Marine drop. Nothing to defend it. Yeah. Even if he goes by, we still got those Marines from earlier. Got to keep that in mind. Oh, he's going to go into both bases. Oh, That's ouch. That yeah. one Marine's still alive trying to get involved with those Vikings. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of damage there. Pulling the SCVs off. Nice little supply lead. Ten supply up. Four sky high. He has kind of the is map Is that Marine control. still alive? What Marine is shooting? Yeah. <laughs> like, take this tank. Ugh. Oh, the production is about to explode for Sky High right now. Yeah. Flash is supply blocked, in fact. Okay, it just finished what he was building, though. The unit wise, Seeds tank count is similar. Viking count slightly in Sky High's favor. Worker count massively in Sky High's favor. And Flash is going to try to do what uh, he did last game with the extra star ports a bit earlier on here. Sky High ended up doing the same thing and getting the better trade of it, but I like this choice, all things considered. Looks like a group of Hellions to the right side. Mm, looking for some way in here. It might be, yeah, one siege tank, but he kind of try and suicide. He decides not to. He doesn't have that pre-igniter upgrade yet either, so... I like the choice of this back. I like the siege tank spread here for Flash as well, making sure they're all very, very spread out, giving a lot of coverage. Fourth CC, well on the way for Sky High as well. Will he take the gold or will he go for that? I'm guessing he could go for either mid. I gold. like the gold because it gives you that high ground position. Yeah. And it also gets you closer to Flash's third base that he's decided to float to. Yeah, I would like the, the gold, but at the same time, when it's tank versus tank, it can be very, very awkward. I think we will see him get, like, the mid base. Well, his CC is definitely closer to that, right? Like, it looks like that's what he's planning. I would like to see the gold. I'm not sure how well it would work. This is like a square, like a little block he's set up over here with his siege tanks, but Sky is just going to go right around that Ooh. and attack this third base and then start hitting the natural again. Yeah, well, he can get rid of this fourth base for sure, This man. is going to cause Flash to make a big reaction, but he doesn't know yet. Now he knows. And how is he going to respond? He's going to send all of his slow siege tanks all the way home? He cancels the fourth, which is one huge blow already. And looks like he's going to siege up here. But, I mean, he could also get behind the mineral patch. Yeah, and that's exactly what he's going to try to do. All right, air battle active here. Last I checked, Sky High had the lead. He has got two PDDs here. I think he's going to win this fight. He's got SCVs down here to repair as well. Don't, oh, don't forget. Wow. And it is 1-1 one, one against 1-0, oh, I believe. And he's killing so many units on the ground with the siege tanks already. He's killing SCVs. He's forced the, the mining off the line. Finally, reinforcements here for Flash are going to help clean this up. The SCV repair was very lackluster out of Sky High, but he's going to have two turrets to help defend this. The damage has already been done, and I knew it. Flash is going to go for a counterattack because no one over here and attacking into this is going to be hard no matter which way you look at it. And he probably scanned and said, you know what, I think I've got an opportunity here. Yeah, I think so too. He definitely has to take it, but Sensor Tower sees all. And it's going to be five tanks in position as well as a lot of Hellbats. And Sky High actually... Oh, Flash! Taking the gold. Sky is going to take the base to the bottom right, but yeah, Flash takes the gold. Oh. Not a bad choice because it's just kind of snaking him away from where Sky High has entrenched all of his units. Yeah, oh, no, this, no, 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 no. Those SCVs? They can't go back here. Why are they going back here? Oh, there is a few T tanks that should be able to clean this up. Okay, he didn't know either. Oh. oh, Sky High is actually inching his way towards that production. He makes if, his move. If he sieges up that ramp, and not this wide ramp. If he sieges up the main ramp, no siege tanks can get out of the base, and he could start getting more turrets up there and denying anything from moving around. He's got to be careful with how many units he loses, though. He's been a bit sloppy with his control here, but he's getting into a good position. Yeah, this has become a very, very weird situation for both players, with Flash taking the gold of Sky Highs. This could come back to bite Sky High very, very later if it actually goes the distance and everything starts to get mined out. Yeah. Scans going down every which way here. 
Or use that depot. I think we really need to see Sky High invest a lot more in Vikings. I mean, he is investing in Thors instead, so he, that's his. Uh, he's he's kind of compensating for no Vikings. Yes, yeah, Thors, Thors turrets and high sec auto tracking for his turrets. The only problem is like, I mean, uh, it, when it comes down to it. The Vikings are always going to have vision for the tanks, and Sky High is always going to have to scan for his tanks. So it is a lot more costly in the end. But it looks like we're going to see Sky High actually try and break this. This is a great choice, I feel, because he's going right into this weakened position. Most of Flash's units were cut off. They're in different locations. The Thors can actually tank a lot of damage and push oh, their way through wow. here. Sky High is making all the right moves in this game, and Flash is in a bit of trouble. So many of his units are cut off away from his army. His reinforcements are trapped in his main base. He can't even leave. All the tanks he's making are stuck at home, and that's why Sky realizes this is his chance to break the gold base. And he does so efficiently here. And now there's only one base left. He's trying to choke out Flash at this point. If he gets his third base to lift, Flash is in so much trouble. We might actually see him GG out. Moonglade, I love TVT. I love TVT, and I love seeing the Sky High guy, man. It's been so long since we got to see him play, and he has improved. He has played such sick different styles every single time. Flash is in trouble. He's landing his Vikings here desperately to try to hold, but it's not going to be enough. Oh, I can't wow. believe it, but Sky High is about to 2-0. Flash! Flash drops Hellbats on top of Unseeged tanks. <laughs> it's not going to be enough, though. He's been stuck in his base for too long. It's too little, too late. GG Sky High what? won that. <laughs> this is the tournament of upsets, Moonglade. Oh man, it is ridiculous. Every underdog so far has achieved victory and made what it out to the, in the world. Oh man, this is going to be such a sick round of eight. It's oh. going to be a round of eight like the world has never seen. <laughs> Not for a long time, that's for sure. Sulky and Sky High making it out of this group. I was not expecting that. I don't think anyone else, man. I think most people are saying Flash and Classic, myself included. The safe bet, right? The Absolutely. two players that are doing the most consistently well recently. What a crazy group and what awesome TVT play. Yeah. You know, I felt like his, his TVP play was interesting and unique. But his TBT play, just the only word I can think for it is solid. I was like, that play is solid. The decision making. He seems to be very good at this. Matchup. He's like cutting Flash's units into pieces. He's dividing the map off the way he wants it to be. He's going in, controlling bases, stopping mining, stopping reinforcements. He's got. He doesn't need air control if he can stop every scene tank from coming out of the main. Anyway, Solki takes a 4-0 victory, gets out of the group in first place, and then is the first and only Zerg in the round of eight, first and last. First and last. And Sky High is able to win against Classic in that loser's match. Classic having a tough time against Flash, and then Flash not even able to scratch Sky High in that finals match. We're going to be hearing from Sky High now in an interview, and I'm really excited to see what he has to say. What a huge upset we've got here in the Hot 6 Cup. This is the highest achievement you've ever had at StarCraft 2. How do you feel? I know it's my first round of 8. I'm really happy. Even if I take down Flash, who is really famous. And, you know, that makes him feel happier, actually. He could be such a great player. ま、不断感은좀없었나요? <laughs> 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 You seemed a bit weak against Zerg and Pros, but your TVT makes you look like an entirely different player. I played against Flash sometimes on the ladder, 
So it reminds me of how he plays. And I just thought about, you know, those times we play on a ladder and it worked really well for me. Uh, Flash famous for actually playing on one of his IDs uh, publicly and not using the barcode, so... <laughs> Who do you want to meet in the round of eight? Uh, what about your teammate, Byung? Yeah. Obviously, he doesn't want to meet his teammate. And he actually really doesn't care which Protoss or Terran he faces. Even Zest, I'm okay with that. So any words to your fans? My fans have been waiting for a really long time to see me up in the higher rounds. I prepared really well for today. I'll be pulling out my best performances in the next rounds. Blown away by that TVT performance. Very Excellent impressive play. play. Very, very talented player. And finally, finally, he's got his, his bearings of soccer off too, and he's, he's ready to take on the top top players of the world, man. Yeah, he really is looking good. Uh, you know, as mentioned, his teammate Byung will be playing in that group tomorrow, as well as our second fan voter parting. Uh, we talked about that a little That's bit. That's right, yeah. And, you know, I guess if Byung advances, he's going to have to play against his teammate, but his TVT is pretty good, so he might have a good I'm, chance. I'm sure he's pretty confident, actually, now that he's taken down Flash, too. Sure. Yeah. So I think we're going to go ahead and take a look at maybe our schedules. Brackets. Okay. Including our, well, actually not including our schedule. But anyways, let's go through this again. <laughs> Marine King will play against Rain. Sick. All right. Innovation faces SOS. That's going to be our third match. Now, the match hasn't been decided yet. Uh, the first one will be the second match of the round of eight, which will be between Sulky and Group D's second place player. And then, of course, Sky High will face whoever wins the group tomorrow. Right. So it should be pretty interesting. One of them will be a Protoss at the very least. It is a, a yeah, group of three Protoss, Protoss and one Terran. Yep. So three Protosses tomorrow. And uh, as you guys can see, there are the Protosses. Zest. Terminator, the underdog, uh, uh, you know, Parting being, of course, the fan favorite, and then Byung, who was able to get through the qualifiers, a very impressive Terran player for CJ Entis. So, mm. a good group. I know there's a lot of Protosses, no Zergs tomorrow, but it's going to be a good group. So We have sure we have one Zerg through. It's okay. We can survive on one Zerg, as long as he wins the whole thing. <laughs> All right, right. So, it's been a great day of matches. By the way, guys, I want to mention one more time, if you want to come to the finals, of course, it's going to be on a Sunday, and there's going to be a special section. So look up a little bit more information about that. Be sure to come down if you can. Otherwise, we'll just see you guys tomorrow for more Hot Six Cup.